I remember back in the days when I was so scared to go to sleep because of the many nightmares I would have to deal with. The enemy made sure I constantly felt afraid, insecure, doubtful, and unworthy. He made sure I stayed broken, feeling unloved and lonely because this way I'll never become who my Creator wanted me to be and destroy His work accurately. I was afraid. I was afraid of the dark, afraid of judgments, afraid of loneliness, afraid of losing my sanity. So afraid. See, fear is a liar, a robber, a murderer. It enters you without notice and occupy every space, bit by bit, stripping down all your energy, power, and even your God-given peace. It sucks the life out of your soul. It curls you and drains you to the last drop till you become all paralyzed. Let me tell you what I realized. Fear is a choice even more a disobedience. Fear happens when there is an absence of faith in Jesus. It's as if we're saying, God, even though you're big and mighty, it looks like the enemy is big too and is getting bigger by the day. Life uncertainty is huge. My sickness, gigantic, and my worries, so many. God, where are you? I can't see you, I can't hear you, I can't feel you anymore. Where are you? Our everlasting Father, full of abundant love, would open his big arms and say, My mighty child of valor, I know there are many frightening situations and powers in the world you live in. But my son Jesus conquered it all when he died on the cross, so that you become fearless, bold, and courageous. Believe it, accept it, claim it, and declare it. But you won't be doing this on your own, I promise. The Helper and the Comforter will be fully available for you to help and guide you through. Take heart and have faith. I appoint the sun to shine by day and decree the stars and the moon to shine by night. The Lord Almighty is my name. You are my precious child. Guess what that makes you? A royalty, a masterpiece, a conqueror, even more than a conqueror. I created the whole universe. My powers are beyond your imaginations. There is an enemy, yes, but it's underneath your feet. He might form weapons against you, yes, but he won't prosper and he knows it. So when fear comes at you like a blood-sucking bug, treat it like a mosquito. Remember, I did not give you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and sound mind. I always have good plans for you, care about you, so much more than the birds and the lilies. I love you, I believe in you, always cheer for you. So believe in me and not the wrong forces, not the lies and the doubts. Accept my perfect love and put all kind of fear out of you. See, before you were born, I knew you, I chose you, I loved you, and I'm so delighted to see you representing me in this world. But you can't do that while holding on to fear and its baggage. Let it go. Take the Holy Spirit instead. So now, get up, stand up, go, and be who I created you to be. Be fearless. As I got up, stood up and decided I am fearless.